Hello YouTube friends, in this video I'm going to be showing you a bit of bookkeeping. Now the main idea behind bookkeeping is that your debits should always be equal to your credits. What is also important to know in bookkeeping is that your assets and expenses are debits and that your liabilities and income are credits. Now what I'm going to do to the left is prepare a trial balance. I've been given the balances of ledger accounts that belong to a company. If I do the trial balance correctly, then my debits are going to be equal to my credits. Now as a bookkeeper, you usually have to prepare a trial balance at the end of the month. So let's say that we are preparing this trial balance on the 30th of November 2020, just as an example. Okay, so I have these balances and I've given you the principles or the basic principles of bookkeeping. Now let me show you how to complete this trial balance. So let's start off with motor vehicles. Since they belong to the company and they are being used to transport things, we are going to call motor vehicles an asset. And since they are an asset, the value 64,000 has to go in here as a debit, okay? Now office equipment can include photocopiers and that would be regarded as an asset. So for office equipment, we would have to put 21,200 right over here in the debits column. Okay, so how about sales? Well, sales would be regarded as income. So that's going to go into the credits column like this, okay? Purchases are going to be regarded as expenses or a kind of an expense. So 164,000 will have to go in this column over here. Now cash, that's going to be an asset. So 300 is going to go over here in the debits column. How about bank overdraft? That's going to be a liability, okay? Because you're going to owe that money to the bank, okay? So that's going to go into the credits column like that. Petty cash, that's going to be your asset, okay? And capital is what belongs to the owner of the company. He or she put that money into the company when they started the business. So that's going to go into the credits column, okay? That is a liability. It's what the company um, owes the people that put capital into it before it started or when it started. How about sales returns? That's going to be the opposite to sales. So that's going to go in the debits column like this, okay? Purchases returns, that's going to be the opposite of purchases. So it has to go into the credits column like this. Sales ledger control, that's going to be your asset, okay? Because they are your invoices and stuff, the money that people owe you. And purchases ledger control is the opposite. So that's going to go over here. They are going to be your liabilities. VAT owed to HMRC. That's going to be a liability because you owe it. So that goes in the credits column, okay? 
telephone, that's an expense. So it goes into the debits column, electricity expense. So once again, in the same column, wages expense. Okay, it's what the company pays the people working for it. Loan from bank, that's going to be a liability. So it goes into the credits column. Here's where it gets tricky. Discounts allowed and discounts received. So let me help you out. With discounts allowed, it's like you're taking a bit off the sale. And a sale is your income. So ideally, what you have to do is put your discounts allowed in the debits column. And if that is the case, then discounts received has to go into the credits column like this, okay? Now rent, that's an expense. So it's going to go into the debits column like this, okay? Now at the bottom, my totals are not adding up. So what I'm going to do is check the figures that I've put inside this table. Now thankfully, I spotted my error quite a while ago. It was over here. Instead of putting 3,600 into the credits column, I put 164,000 into it, confusing it for the value of purchases. So what I'm going to do is transform this 164,000 into 3,600. Okay, and as you can see, that has balanced out my trial balance. So at the moment, this trial balance looks correct. Now in bookkeeping, before you complete the trial balance, even if the figures are correct, you're going to take a few more looks to ensure that you've done everything correctly. Now after you've done those checks, and you are satisfied that it is correct, you can then move on and you can say that you've completed that trial balance. Obviously, mistakes do happen in business, but that's why the trial balance has to be done like this. If the debits have to be equal to the credits, mistakes are eliminated. If you have a business or if you are studying bookkeeping, I hope that this video has been very useful to you. I don't usually make bookkeeping videos, but because this is related to mathematics, I've decided to include something a bit different on my channel. So I hope you appreciate that. For more videos related to mathematics, make sure you are subscribed to my channel. And if you want a regular dose of mathematics proofs, visit my Instagram page, mathematics.proofs. That's all from me for today, and I'll talk to you again soon.